everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. Um, I was on a Google Hangout today uh, with a bunch of ladies and we got talking about the dilution sprays. Um, and I decided to try a couple tests with them. As you guys all know, the dilution sprays um, are water soluble. So every time you use water on them, they're going to reactivate. So this is the first one I did. It's just a piece of a cardstock. This half of it, I put Tim Holtz Distress Glaze on it. This half, I left just the way it is. So what I want to find out, okay, see this side we know it's going to activate. So I'm actually activating the color. Um, as you can see, just take a little bit of water and you can reactivate the dilutions, okay? So that's that side. Now, turn this back around, and I'm going to try to do the same exact thing on the side that I used the Tim Holtz Distress Glaze with. I've just got plain water here in a jar, using it, and let's see if this reactivates. And guess what? It does not. That is very interesting to know. So... If you're in a pinch, you want to use your dilution sprays, but you don't want it to reactivate, you can put a layer of this Distress Glaze on top of it. Now, what I'm curious about, okay, it still feels kind of just, it feels like a, um, what do you call it, Vaseline almost. What I'm curious about is can you write over this with a paint pen? Yes, you can. Um, let's see, what else? Let's try just a Faber-Castell. Um, I'm not even sure if it, yeah. This one, not so much, but the paint pen was a much better um, test on that. So you can write over this Distress Glaze, which is kind of cool. Now the other test that I wanted to check out, so anyways, to back up with this one, um, without anything on it, yes, it's water soluble, we know that. With the Tim Holtz Distress Glaze, yes, it will stay uh, permanent, but like I said, you got to have, um, you know, if you're going to do this, you're going to need a few of these. Alright, the other test that we did, this is um, putting down clear gesso and then spraying the ink on top of it while it's wet. Um, we, you know, we thought about, hmm, will it stay permanent that way if it's locked in with the gesso? So let's find out because this actually dried with the gesso. I put clear gesso down and then just sprayed. So let's see what happens. Guess what? Uh, a little bit. Um, I can see a little bit of it, but most of it there you go if you spray it in your gesso while your gesso is still wet and again this I did with clear gesso um, it stays oh, there's a little bit a little bit of its uh, reacting but nothing like if you're doing it without any type of protection or any type of other um, art supply with it this will just keep reactivating and that's the one that has nothing with it. So just a couple little tests. If you want your dilution sprays to be not quite so water soluble, um, you definitely can use the Distress Glaze by Tim Holtz or you can do it with clear gesso and then spraying over top of the wet clear gesso. So hope this guys, hope this helped you guys and uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!